How is that situation compatible with those shared principles of ambition and pragmatism to promote prosperity and peace? How were the commitments the EU made in 2017 and 19 to specific solutions and alternative arrangements, and that the protocol could be superseded, compatible with the refusal to replace the Northern Ireland Protocol or engage on alternative yeah, arrangement? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it compatible yeah. with those principles in granting extension periods only the day before, or not extending the trusted trader scheme, or not focusing on goods at risk, or insisting that the only way to reduce burdens on the movement of food products is for us to accept their law outright on SPS, despite us as my right hon. Friend has said, putting an ambitious veterinary agreement on the table based on our respective high standards. And I thank the uh, right hon. Lady opposite for her support uh, in the Government's proposals for that measure. Or perhaps worst of all, triggering Article 16 with no notice to create a hard border on the island of Ireland for the most sensitive of products, yeah, yeah. vaccines, Madam Deputy Speaker, yeah, yeah. feeding the perception that the EU's years of claims to be prioritising the delicate balance in Northern Ireland were little more than lip service, and fundamentally undermining the confidence of many in Northern Ireland that the protocol could be made to work or threatening legal action at the first sign of any disagreement instead of seeking to resolve problems consensually or saying that Northern Ireland must be the price of Brexit. Yeah. Never, Madam Deputy Speaker. Yeah.